Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to Battle Brothers with me, Cornish Knight. We've literally just survived an ambush by a bunch of men at arms sent by the house of Eldritch. Though, unfortunately, some of our brave men, Rogue and Azdaf, did unfortunately meet their ends. So, as of right now, we're in a not a fantastic state. Some of our guys are hurt. So we might have to... I do need to hire some more people in all honesty. So I lost a lot of guys. Ooh, that's nice. 18 fatigue. Who's got the highest fatigue at the moment? He could take it. So I have been building some of my people to have higher fatigue. For well, none of them might, not all, none of them might have survived, unfortunately. So it might have to be him, Victor. You can have that. Cause you can have the hall back. You can have... No, I can't give him that. That will make him... His stamina is terrible. He can have that. He can have that. Yeah. Got a couple of suits, chain mail, basic chain mail shirt. Need to reorganize. And I've got one of and I've got another hall back running about. Right. We need to pull back and get some men. I'm probably gonna actually have to spend real decent money now to get some decent soldiers. None of this half larking about. I'm gonna sell off some gear that I took from them buy some people with decent backgrounds, even though it will probably break my bank account. I'm not happy about it, and sell off some of my unnecessary equipment. With the money I have, if I get a couple of people... How are you all looking? Tools are not not fantastic, but we basically got lucky in the last episode. We got jumped by a raiding party from Ildilich, the house of Ildilich, um, and they give us a thoroughly good thrashing. We lost a couple of guys, but we managed to hold our own. To be honest, I believe it was like the Azdav curse because Azdav has literally died. Out of the five people I've lost in London so far in the last recently. All three of them have been Azdaf, so it doesn't look like his name is that fortuitous. Sorry about that, Azdaf. Um, we'll jump in here, see if they have anybody actually worth hiring. Uh, not yet. Right, we need. Oh, I like the, uh, the deserter, probably would be good, but he's going to be terrible stat wise. Okay. Grab some. F uh, we're okay. We'll grab a little bit of food. Toss out that. Toss out that. Get rid of 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 some of the damaged helmets. Get rid of some of the damaged kite shields. They really suck up um, stamina to use. I love kite shields, but the penalty on them is massive. Right. Get rid of some of the spears. I don't need so many spears. Right, there we go. There's no one in the town. 
nothing on sale. I like the, I love the colour schemes they put on the gear, but I just can't afford any of it. I wish you could actually do that. I wish you could actually um like pay to get like colour schemes put on armour, or at least get dyes or something to customise your gear. That would be cool. Um, right, we've got to go here quickly see if they have anyone worth recruiting. Okay, here we go. He's a bastard. Retired soldier. Bastard. Right, so you want to grab one of these. With my money, I can grab one. Which one do I want? Retired toads tend to have a decent experience in welfare, and their reserve is not easily broken. However, their age may have taken the toll on their physical attributes. So maybe not him. Bastards often have prof profit from some training in often have profit from the training in melee fighting. Alright, we can grab him. We can grab him. Let's The problem is if I grab him and his physical stats are terrible, then I would have thrown away quite a lot of money, so I want a sword bet. Let's grab him. See what he's like. Not great. I mean, he's not bad, but all his stats are basically in range skill. I mean, I can give him a sword. Or I probably could give him a spear and some basic armor, and he probably would keep going. Um, a couple of levels up for strength. Up that. The problem is if I turn him straight into an arch... I don't need more archers. I need to have melee defenders. His charisma is terrible. Colossi... Oh, Colossus. Colossus is really useful. Just because I find it's a nice way to... Right, let's call him Rogue. I'm not being nasty because I've... Not being nasty, but I'm. I should probably go for the list and see what other names I can use, but I don't want to have to do that right now. I could have to organise them. I'll just stick him in here for now. Right. Maybe I should have gone for the retired soldier. No, I'm not going to do any raiding. If it, I wish if you did raiding in this game, it was like you literally just attack stuff and you had to get a certain amount of like money's worth or do as much as like a certain set of like damage rather than what you have to do at the moment, which is, um, in all honesty, you have to go and attack particular targets, which limits your options. But hey ho, okay. We've got 10 days worth of cash left. Now they're slugging out with someone. I wish they killed. They're unfriendly. You find Vine hold the councilman taking to a group peasant, seeing you, he quite stunned. So, a lot of you, this may be sort of a problem. It's time to take a side. Cell sword. We have a bit of a problem. There's a relic that we need to find in some, some such thing by the name of the Blood Veil of the Holy Mother. Let's talk money. Need to be paid more. Uh, I'm not going to do it because obviously you've seen me do that kind of thing before. Right, uh, okay, fighting green skins are kind of cheap. Okay, destroy the Torta um, Cave south of Jordberg. Okay, let's do that. We can do that relatively easily, and that it's down there. No, the reason I don't want to do the reason I don't want to do that particular quest is because it's all too easy to do the exploit and literally just run away from them and I don't really want to fight them. There's no need for me to fight the ancient empire, the fallen empire at this point in the game. Besides, they ha IDS I know, they have some really good... some really... some really good gear, don't get me wrong. But at the same time, it's a pretty... 
risky proposition, especially the fact is that you can run into vampires, and the vampires in this game are absolutely brutal. Right, hopefully we'll have lost the undead. They're just standing around there. Okay. If that's how you want to play it, we might just have to fight our way through them, which I'm not happy about because they're going to be a pain to do, and I don't have that many cleaving weapons to, to decapitate people. Right. But we're going to have to do it anyway. Has he set up for axes? Okay. Right, we've got an, arm, an army of them, which is going to be a pain, but let's just get this done. Plethora of armoured wend wendergangers. Okay. Ooh, when they did say armoured, they were really talking about being armoured, weren't they? Okay. Where do you want to fight them? Probably fight them on high ground. There's 20 versus 12, so it's going to be they're going to have an advantage after a while. Hal of a deer, where he, where he is. I'm just trying to figure out how the best to do this. I don't want them to get high ground. Okay, he's okay where he is. Crossbow and pull back. Can you get down here and turn? What's the furthest you can get here? Okay. Can you get to here? Because I need someone to basically jump in and fill that gap. Oh, here they come. Problem with undead, especially what you can see, like the classical, like necromantic undead in this game, is like they have massive, stale, massive stamina, um, stamina drains. So unless you can like decapitate them quickly, they're gonna basically catch up on you. They've got a lot of cleaving weapons. They've got um, scram sacks, which are not particularly nice. They cause lots of bleeding. Right. I'm going to put a couple of guys here and basically, with the guys here I have, I'm going to basically hold this edge and try and protect my archers because it looks like they're going to come down from this way so I'm going to have to move my archers around here. But in the meantime, let's start shooting at them. Yeah, this is going to be fun. to get them into a better position, really. Who do I need to get rid of? He's got good armour, so he needs to get his armour destroyed. He needs to go here. He needs to go here. That guy's got to tuck in there, so he's got to go there. So I'm just doing some really quick math. Get rid of his armor. I'm not going to kill them because there's no point. They'll just get back up. I just need to destroy as much of their gear as possible. He needs to relocate to here. Ha um, pole Axeman is going to go in here, so I need to have one guy there. He's okay. The 
problem is that they try and smash through here and I don't have enough guys. He needs to jump here. They don't have a necromancer, fortunately, so it's not as bad. But we need to start killing these guys as quickly as possible, really. Hmm. I may... Hold on one second. I'm going to just... Because of the size of the host that we're fighting, I'm just going to quickly turn on the fast AI movement. Right, he's got to go up there. He's pretty much done. Oh, we missed, seriously. Get him up here. He's got the better combat shield, so I'm going to jump him in here. Let's try and decapitate this one. There we go. You can jump here. Oh, missed. Okay, that wasn't enough to kill him and he's burnt up a lot of stamina, which is unfortunate. Okay. Again he misses. Not happy about that. Who do we need to focus on? Probably him, because he's got some relatively nice looking armor. Him as well, because he has some nice looking armor. I'm using my um I'm using my range units to predominantly just destroy their armors so that my guys don't have too much problems killing them. can actually hit. Right, okay. Right, we need to kill him. So we've terminated two permanently. Okay, he's got a penalty on his morale, which is not fantastic. You may have to do the morale ability of our sergeant to keep people steady. What's his armor like? Right, who's the one that needs to get trounced first? Probably this one. Really, none of my guys can hit today. Okay. We won't kill him. Oh, we definitely won't kill him if I can't connect a shot. I don't want to move him up there because... Uh, let's try it anyway. Really? How can my guys not hit these undead? Decapitate him. His armor's dented. His armor's still okay. We might be able to get a lucky shot off. No. Okay. He might be able to go down next turn. He may be able to... Seriously? Okay. He's probably going to get back up, which is going to be a pain. Right, who do we need to hit now? We need to hit some of them at least. Get rid of their armors. I 
I don't want to kill. Uh, let's hit this one again. Get rid of his armor. Give the pass on his turn because I need to have him kill that one. Come on. There we go. Hold off. Yeah, that's the only downside is that this is going to be a death by a thousand cut scenario. Oh, his morale is wavering. They're going to swarm me if I'm not careful. Right. His gear is falling apart. As he had his turn, his turn. These guys are coming up, so I need to get these two guys killed. Right, he's not going down. So let's. Come on. Oh, seriously. Kill off that one. He's going to be a pen. I'm just going to, have to drop him. See, he's going to get back up. We might have to do the rally ability to keep him in the fight. Who do we need to hit? Him, probably. And then we need to start shooting at these guys. By time. Yeah, this is going to be the pain. It's going to be death by a thousand cuts. Uh, his morale isn't going to be great. So let's start working on him. Reload. That under is probably going to get back up. We can't. De oh, we can't decapitate him this turn. Okay. He's probably going to be dead. He could have capitate this turn, yeah. Right. Save your stamina. Probably need to kill this one. Oh, really? Right. Oh my guys getting themselves creamed. Kill that one. Probably going to get back up anyway, but I need to buy time for my guys. Oh. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. Had to get up here and uh, just turtle, you fool. You got to have a turtle. Kill that one. Reload. Stamina shot to bits. Okay. Which one? Right. Well, we 
rallied him anyway. All I can hope for is that we've managed to do enough damage. Yeah. You know it's bad when your guy's morale the turn order is less than the undeads. Hopefully we can buy ourselves some time. Ah, missed. Okay. He's still bleeding. Hopefully... Yeah, decapitate him. His stamina is really bad. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. The ones that I killed are going to get back up. All that I can, all that I can do is basically do as much as I can, which is to keep putting them back down. Oh boy, that's bad. Okay. Turn. He can't do anything. Give him a whack. Oh no, I need to get him out. Oh, I can't afford to lose him. I should have hit that one. Okay. Go there. You're going to have to fix this one. I wish the old trick of standing on their corpses still worked. jump on his corpse in case he gets up. You fall back because you're in a bad state totally. Oh, seriously, you missed. Those guys are going to get back up. He might go down with a lucky shot if we hit him. No, okay. Yeah, he's going to get back up, which is all the fun in the world. So stay down, please. Reload. Catch your breath. He can't do anything this turn. Give him a whack. I'd hoped that was going to take his head off, because he hadn't had any head armor on, but... Everyone else, just rest. Try and get some of your stamina back, because, yeah, he's going to get back up. Stay down, fool. 
There's nothing that either of us can do at this point, so I'm literally passing turns until he can get up. There we go. Totally took a bit of a nasty injury with cut arm. Could have been worse, could have been better. We didn't get much out of it. We got a couple of okay helmets. The rest is basically gunk. Well, gunk, junk, I say. Anyone leveled? Trenton, sorry, Trenton leveled. I don't want to give him more stamina. Melee defense needs to be improved and his melee attack perks right here. What do I want to give him? Flail Master, that's always a nice one to have. Okay. Nice big stamina boosts, attack boost, and melee a defense boost. Battle Forge, specialist armor, any armor damage taken is reduced. Or do we want to take Brawn? Brawn is good because it means it gives him a, little, a bit more stamina to play with. Especially when we stop upgrading him. Mr. Panda leveled up. Ooh, his range is still terrible. And what do we want to give him? Probably rotation in case someone jumps him. No, Maxi, that would probably be a good one as well to have. Hmm. We'll get rotation in case he gets jumped in the fight. Who do we need to pull out? These guys. Him. Ooh, a lot of my their gear got trashed, so that's not great. Especially since we're going up against orcs. Let's get across this forge. We'll go to the town. They don't like us very much down here. We might need to be able to get some stuff. Oh, tool supply got. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, I hate this. Basically, I got hit with with lag. Right, we're gonna have to run for it. I don't think any of them have any dogs, but I can't stand and fight these guys. So time to run away. We should be able to do it, as long as we play smart. Because the rough terrain should slow them down. Because you spend more XP, to, you basically spend more movement points running across difficult terrain. That's just a problem. Yes, see, cost 2 plus 1. Actually, is it the same? Yeah, it is, okay. But as long as we try and keep our distance. Because I really don't want to have to fight these guys. If push comes to sub, I might just have to order a retreat and get out while I can. This is not something I wanted to run into right now. That's not great. Where can I get him? Ooh, that's too close for comfort. Right, I'm going to have to be really careful about this because there's not going to be much space and there's going to be very little time. Oh, 
are so close. If they get too close, I might just have to run. Oh, this is... I can't beat these guys in open ground like this. They'll absolutely hammer me to the wall. Yeah, see, look, cost plan plus eight. Yeah, it is. And plus four, plus four for T for travelling because it's a different terrain level, so it does cost more. Oh. Can he get up there? We might. No, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. Just keep quiet, Cornish. Oh, that's so close. The problem I have is I might not be able to get anyone to get rid of that tree. Right, it will take him a single turn. So I'm doing some really quick calculations. Because he, he might have to make a break for this one here. Mm. How to take the risk. Can he get... He cannot... Oh, curses. Okay. This is tense as anything. Come on, boys. If I chuck those two in here, he goes there. Put him here for now, just in case I need to rapidly move him. He should be okay there. You need to get gone. My f we need to get everyone. We need to get everyone to the extraction point by this turn. Otherwise, they're going to be on us, and we're going to get slaughtered. Because they'll pin us up against the edge of the map, and with n with negative, well, with wavering morale. Oh, why did I put him here? Okay, get there. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, that's the furthest you can go. One of them's got to jump in there, one of them's got to jump in there. Right, so... Go there. You need to go there. And I hope I can shove someone in there, because if I can't, I'll just be in case, just put him there just in case. Because I'd hate to lose someone just because I missed... placed just them. Get there just in case. You jump in there. You get there. And we should be able to retreat without any issue. Whew! What basically happens is that I suffer from a slight delay while getting out of settlements, which means the world keeps on moving even though I'm trying to desperately run away from people. Uh, that probably means they're chasing me, doesn't it? Food for three days. We might have to double back around. I mean, we could. I'm just trying to figure out how we can do this. Okay, we'll have to think about it next time. I've been Cornish Knight. If you have liked, please press the like button. If you wish to subscribe, please press the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter or on Steam or leave a comment in the comment section. And I shall see you all next time. God, this has been a bit brutal. <sighs> Goodbye.